Jared's birthday. Uh, Jeremy, uh, point to a match would you like? This one right here. This one here? Right. Just take it. Uh, can you open your hands for me? Alright, so take this here. What is up guys? Yeah, I know it's been like <laughs> over a week and I've been working on this one video about a magician that I admire and he has a very very interesting backstory and this dude almost lived to be like a hundred so he has a lot of backstory that I'm going through and I want to make a video on him but that's gonna take a long time so I guess I'll just show you guys how to do this little matchbook trick which is the second trick that everyone wants to learn this trick is so so easy but first it is extremely dangerous and it's not due to just a fire this would cause like some type of health concern I don't know I might have some type of cancer and I shouldn't be doing this and you shouldn't really be doing this but it's cool as hell and <laughs> don't do this unless you're like 18 or 21 guys just <laughs> please be careful with this I don't want to get in trouble showing you guys how to do this trick and also on top of that but bam oh I got some work done yesterday you saw that I had color but it didn't have the webs I got the webs done yesterday they're white because they're based off the uh, Maguire tattoo the Tobey Maguire same Raimi and god I love it it also added more depth you can also see it's very swollen and covering a lot of aquaphor but enough talking about myself guys let's get right into this tutorial Marla the big tourist her lie reflected my lie and suddenly I felt nothing I couldn't cry so once again I couldn't sleep now guys, this is super, super easy. All you're gonna need is a single matchbook. Uh, you, you could do this with like a box of matches. It's totally possible, but you just can't really do the reveal at the end. You probably can, but it's not really worth it. You're better off just doing it uh, the this way. Now you can buy like a pack of like 50 on Amazon and super, 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 super cheap. Now. All you gotta do the beforehand is that you're gonna take one of these these brand new ones like a new pack is gonna look exactly like that all you're gonna do is that you could remove one of these and burn it but my way of doing this is that I like to take a lighter and burn it this way so I could take a match from the other end strike it and you want to pull this back as far as you can away from the other one because you don't want to burn these so I just take it here they connect this is literally your setup so if I'm going to perform a gig I usually would just take two of these both don't burn the one in the middle keep one in my pocket and keep one in my close-up bag because sometimes I'll forget this at a table sometimes there are like a bunch of them missing you want to keep it full as much as you can now with this all you're gonna do when you perform your trick you're gonna have this closed I usually I like to keep it in my uh, inner breast pocket is that I take it out like this then I open it kind of like a uh, like that Blue's Clues notebook like a spiral notebook I open it like this simultaneously what's going on behind the scenes is that I have my thumb right above the burnt one I pull it down as I open it just like this so the entire time this burnt one it's just hiding under the thumb the entire time so this is what the spectator sees so if I were to do that again 
I open, find the burnt one, and I flip this old way around. And now, that burnt one just hiding right under there. And try to make it, like, your thumb directly under it, so it covers the entire thing. You don't want to flash it like this or like that. This is probably one of the hardest tricks to mess up. It's, it's, very, it's very, very easy. So you're just gonna hold it like this. Now what I do, I, what I used to do is I say, I would used to tell someone, take one out. And this, it, it's very awkward because people, the human tendency is to just go in and then grab. They, they think they could pull it like this. And now you're playing this game of, uh, what do you call it? It's like a Chinese finger trap. It's like you, you're both fighting each other. What I just say is that I say, uh, point to one so it feels like a free choice the choice doesn't matter at all i just say point to one and they can point to this 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 you just want to drag it to the side pluck it right out now the way you want to close this is you want to close it just like that and then close it this way and what that looks like from behind is that your thumb is covering it your thumbs covering it now you're gonna come in like this and close it just like that and you could slip this in to lock it so it doesn't pop open and they see it you cl close it just like that now the way how I kind of distract them because I can literally do it right in front of them and they won't see it but to make it a bit more deceptive is that I would usually, I would look up at them in their eyes and, or I would just say, Hey, are you right-handed or left-handed? And with that, that gives you enough time to like, just close it. You can literally like, if you do that and say, are you just right-handed or left-handed? And they, if they look up at you, you could probably do it that way. But I would say, do it how I showed you like this. Say, look up at them say, Hey, are you right-handed or are you right-handed or left-handed? Once they do, tell them to open their hand just like this. Once they open their hands, take the book, you're gonna take the match. Now, this is a timing thing. You're gonna wanna do this like in a area where you could strike matches, but you don't wanna do this outside, especially if it's a windy day. This will not work at all. You're going to want to strike there's all that smoke that comes out of the match. You're going to see a bunch of it. Once it comes out, you're going to want to inhale it through your nose. And you don't want to make it obvious. You don't want to go, <gasps> you, you just want to like just sniff it and don't react. You're going to want to practice this a few times because it's very harsh the first time you do it. Because it's basically you're just inhaling smoke and a bunch of this like carbon dioxide. I don't know what it is. I'm not a scientist. But... You don't want to do this too much. There are times where I did this way too many times, and I sound like a smoker. Yeah, you got any chocolates? Yeah, sometimes I'll smell like, sound like that. But you just you just want to do this like probably like five six times, in like one night, and that's it for like a few weeks. And like if you have another gig, like five six times, and that's it. You don't want to do this too much. You want to take the match here. It's pretty pretty simple. Spectator has their hand wide open. You take the matchbook and the match. You want to aim this directly under your nose so easier if I show you sitting down if I take this take this you're gonna see that smoke come up once the smoke comes up I'm gonna inhale as much as I can so if I take it here you're gonna see the smoke And what I like to do is that I don't like to exhale all of it because it kind of like, it doesn't look as thick. I literally just open my mouth and just let it come out itself. And I kind of go a little bit, like I just like a tiny breaths coming out. And you don't want to do it as close as I did because I just burnt the shit out of me and my nose and everything. <laughs> oh God, yeah, this is, this is not fun doing it's not it's not healthy <laughs> what you want to do spectator has their hand open now you're going to strike it 
inhale that that smoke now they have their hand open what i do i literally just as this is burning in my hand i literally just take their hand whatever is open i place this in their palm and i roll their fingers right over it so if, if i had a spectator it looked like i'm placing it right into their i would literally put it in their hands and i'll just do this because i want them to hold on to it i don't want to just place it into their I want them to actually hold on to it so it doesn't look like I swapped it out or anything. And I won't touch it for the rest of the trick. Now, you're kind of paralyzed at this point because you can't speak. So you have to kind of like pantomime or like you got to instruct them with your body movements. So you place right in their hand. You wrap their fingers right around it. Now, this is still burning in your hand. Now, what I'm going to do, this is a piece of psychology. I'm going to take this burnt match here you're going to show it to everyone for a quick second and you it's still burning and you want to do this quick because it's going to burn it's going to go down it's going to hit your fingers you don't want that to happen so you place it into the hands you have this burnt thing burning so imagine it's burning what i'm going to do is going to shake it and i'm going to show it to you again put it right in my hand now you probably didn't see it but I literally just threw it right on the ground as I shook it. So with this, you want to do this like in a dark area, like a bar. And this is like, they're never going to find it. I usually do this like even at gigs where you could see things. Like even if it's like a prom night, those are also perfect in those types of areas. But I'm going to show them this. I'm going to show them around like this. They're going to remember that in their brain. Once I shake it, and I show them this, their brain's actually gonna connect the two and they're gonna think that I showed it to them twice after I shook it. A lot of magicians do that. They do that even with coins. Like if they were to have like a coin or something in their hand, they'll pick it up and sh say I showed it to them and their brain's gonna remember this in their hand. Now, what I do is I shake it about like five times really fast. So I do the thing, place it in their hand, and I shake and probably I do it about like five times. I throw it like on a count of three. You want to do it one, two, actually, sorry. You want to do it on a downstroke because you don't want to go this way and it flies up and it flans in some lady's hair. It's not going to burn her or anything, but you don't want it to fly up and hit somebody. You just want to go one, two, three, and then throw. You just want to do it on the th on the downturn like that. So if I show it to you like this, it's still in my hand. It's pretty small. You want to do it really quick. Like I show it to him like this. Like I still have it. One, two. On the down. And show it to him real quick. And you just want to you just want to put it quickly. Just put it right back into your hands. And all I do now is literally just open my mouth near it. Or you could take it tend to put it into your mouth and then and then do the whole smoke thing you could do it that way now the spectator has this still in their hands i literally just open my mouth smoke comes out and i just do hey like that thing disappeared you know where it went I check your hands i don't want to touch it at all i just have them do all the work and then they open it you know the burnt match right in there and yeah guys it's super super easy and yeah guys that's really all there is to it it's super super easy doesn't take that much to learn super super cheap but the only thing that it's gonna cost you is probably gonna shave off a few hours of your life every time you do this because I'm already feeling kind of like sick of my my left lung is just like bro what what, what the fuck so guys do this very sparingly do it if you're an adult. Do it if you're old enough to like pay your own insurance or if you're still under your parents' insurance and like you don't live with them. But yeah, guys, do this sparingly. So yeah, my name's Cedric Purcell. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll be doing the toothpick tutorial. And that one is so easy, I might just make it a short. It's literally like a two second tutorial. Very, very simple. But other than that, guys, thank you guys so much. Practice, practice, practice. And See you guys next time. Peace.
a little editor's note, guys. I totally forgot to tell you that I would actually be on Gothic's channel uh, this Friday uh, during a stream, and it's called The Grift. And you, if you guys have never heard of Gothic's, please watch her stuff. She's basically just a uh, black-based female. I, I, I don't know. That's the only way I could describe it. But, yeah, her channel is incredible. Her name is Vanessa, and I've been trying to get onto her show and talk to her about a few things and she also likes magic too which is really interesting but yeah her stuff's really really good i hope you guys come and check it out the stream starts at three o'clock this friday september 17th i'll put the link down below uh for so you guys can check it out the stream will be available after uh, afterwards too so yeah thank you guys so much so another goodbye <laughs>